Good evening. I hope that you had a pleasant and unhurried Christmas day. It's a little different for all of us. Many of us that got together with big families uh, normally on, on Christmas Day are not with them today or we're not, we're not with them yesterday. This is your update for Elmira Baptist Church on Saturday, December 26th, 2020. Tomorrow, remember that the live stream, the Sunday School will be a live stream. It will be live and it will start about 9.50. We will have a Sunday School assembly about 9.45 and then we We'll have one of the men of the church teaching the Sunday school class live tomorrow. So if you're used to getting up early and seeing it pre-recorded, or if you're used to waiting until the afternoon and watching it pre-recorded, it won't be pre-recorded. It will be available in the afternoon, uh, but it won't be available until about 9.50 tomorrow. And then the morning worship at 11 o'clock. We'll be going back to our study of watching Jesus work in the book of Mark. And specifically, we're going to watch him command the demons tomorrow. Quite a story. Mark chapter 5, verses 1 through 20 will be our text. And in the evening, I've got two treats. And I'm not going to say much more than that. But you want to join us again at 5 o'clock on Sunday evening. Let me make a request. I don't often make this request. I did last Saturday. But if you are considering end-of-the-year giving, would you consider giving to Elmira Baptist Church's building fund? Now, IRS rules require your gift to arrive at the church in one of the offerings by December 31st or be postmarked by December 31st. Our last offering for 2020, we will take at the New Year's Eve, December 31st service. But if you won't be able to be with us either tomorrow or that Thursday, you'll need to get that gift in the mailbox or you can give online elmirafamily.com slash donate. Again, our P.O. Box is P.O. Box 160, Elmira, California, 95625. Please be praying for the services tomorrow. Uh, I know God wants to bless us, but we need his Holy Spirit. We need his presence in the services tomorrow. I want to look at the visit of the wise men tonight. And I want to look at their visit. It probably took place a year, year and a half after Jesus was born. We see in Matthew chapter 2 that Herod inquires of them as to the time that the star appeared. And then later Herod sends his soldiers to kill all the children two years and younger. And uh, so my guess is they said, well, the star appeared a year, year and a half ago. And, and that's why uh, King Herod chose that. Second reason I believe their visit was a year to a year and a half after Jesus was born. When the shepherds came to see Jesus, he was a babe wrapped in swaddling clothes lying in a manger. By the time the wise men arrive, it says when they came into the house, the house. And so they had moved to a new location and Mary was there with the young child. Young child being, could be as old as elementary age in, in, the, in the Greek word, but obviously again, because of the time the star appeared, probably much younger than that, but a toddler probably, or just an infant. Here's our reading, Matthew chapter 2. I'm going to pick it up in verse Seven. Then Herod, when he had privily called the wise men, inquired of them diligently what time the star appeared. And he sent them to Bethlehem and said, Go and search diligently for the young child. And when ye have found him, bring me word again that I may come and worship him also. And when they had heard the king, they departed. And lo, the star which they saw in the east went before them till it came and stood over where the young child was. When they saw the star, they rejoiced with exceeding great joy. And when they were come into the house, they saw the young child with Mary his mother and fell down and worshipped him. And when they had opened their treasures, they presented unto him gifts, gold and frankincense and myrrh. Those wise men from the east came literally hundreds of miles to worship Jesus. Could you join with us virtually if you need to tomorrow to worship the Savior? Mm -hmm.